Hey, this is Tony. From 1984 to 1989, I was a missile launch officer at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. And um, we were recently visiting one of the launch control centers, or LCCs, where we uh, did our tours of duty. And uh, I want to give you a tour of this one. This one is uh, on the base at Whiteman Air Force Base. This is Oscar 01, Oscar 1. Launch Control Center, or LCC. This is a blast door that protected us. Those pins extended out into the door frame to keep us safe in the case of a nuclear explosion. Uh, when you came down a very slow-moving elevator, you would make a right and go into the Launch Control Center, or LCC. That's where we're going to start this tour. Uh, we're walking in that direction now. This is a, uh, it's a, it's a floor inside a concrete shell. Think of an eggshell and we'll, we'll, uh, and we're suspended in that eggshell. We'll see that in a second. This is another blast door. You saw those pins. Uh, this is the pump, the manual pump. I know it's dark, but that's a manual pump to extend those pins out uh, again, into a door frame. So it's two blast doors. Now we're walking into the launch control center. Like I said, think of an eggshell uh, made of concrete. And we're now walking onto a floor that's suspended from that shell. And it's suspended from these. This is a shock isolator air compressor or uh, SIAC, we used to call them. And there are four of them, one on each of the four corners of the floor. That's the second one that is, ex that is uh, suspended inside the concrete shell. There's a bathroom, uh, well, uh, a toilet. So we were on alert for 24 hours. Um, you'll see some communications racks. That's a communication rack there. Same thing there. Uh, that's the deputy's console where the deputy missile combat crew commander sat. We'll see that closer in a few minutes. Over here, these, these were not racks when I was there. 1984 to 1989, there was a bed there because it's 24 hours and one person was allowed to sleep at a time. Could not both sleep, but one could. There's a picture of how it looked and there was a rubber curtain around it. Uh, that's a uh, printer and uh, a panel to get status from missiles and to send messages to the missiles. Again, there's the deputy's uh, console, that keyboard that was built in there is for uh, updating the weather every 24 hours. Weather had to be sent to our 10 sorties, uh, missiles. We call them sorties. This is the commander's console. Uh, looking over the top of it, that right there is the uh, ERCS, Emergency Rocket Communications System. We were capable in, in this squadron, the 510th, Strategic Missile Squadron at Whiteman of recording messages and having them broadcast via missile. We had 10 missiles we were primarily responsible for and that panel uh, that with the green frame around it right there, that's the LSMIP or Launcher Status Missile Indicator panel, one column of lights for each missile. This is the Commander's Launch Panel. There I'm turning the key to launch and it would snap back. That key was not stored there. We'll see in a, in a second where it's stored. Um, but uh, that's the uh, commander's launch console. And right below that, where I'm lifting up that uh, little plastic shield, that is a, a panel for sending commands out to our 10 missiles. There's a phone, uh, our TO, tech order. Everybody had their own. It was not one for the... LCC. Every, you had to maintain your own. Looking back now, going toward the uh, deputies console again. This is where um, the launch keys were stored. Not in that, in that flimsy little box. Not in the box like that, but in that location. Some, place, some LCCs, it was there. And we'll see where it was in some other places, where, where it was in Oscar. Um, that panel with the yellow cap on it, that's uh, SLIFCIS, Survivable Low Frequency Communication System. That's a, a communication system that we shared with uh, submarines, uh, low frequency, because the, uh, the waves had to travel through salt water. That's, uh, at Oscar, that's where the 
launch keys, both the commander's and the deputy's keys, and also launch codes were stored. Each, both the commander and deputy would have uh, their own locks. You have to bring your own lock to the, to the alert. And if you forgot your lock, that was a big problem. And only you knew your combination. Um, and in the event of a launch, you would each have to undo your, uh, your lock to open that box. There's the clock. Of course, it's important to know what time it is because we're launching nuclear missiles. Uh, every six hours, we had to set the clock. Uh, photo bomb, very nice. Thank you very much. I told you, uh, making a, a right off the elevator, you go into the LCC, Launch Control Center. That's looking into the Launch Control Center. You can see on the left side those uh, four pins. They're probably like six inches or so in diameter. Those are the pins that extend out of that blast door where that stupid Oscar thing is, uh, and they go into the frame or the that concrete shell that I was describing. You'd manually pump those pins into the frame. Above the entrance to the LCC, that sign says, no loan zone, two-man concept, mandatory. Uh, inside the uh, LCC, you could never have one person alone. There was just too much sensitive material, code books, of course, the keys, uh, launch codes. Um, there, there was top secret material. You could never be alone in the LCC. Coming off the elevator, if you make a left, you go into the Launch Control Equipment Building, LCEB. It's not a separate building. Uh, just, it's another uh, suspended floor next to the Launch Control Center, the LCC. And here you're looking at uh, a view of the Launch Control Equipment Building. Uh, on the left is a, a big... Um, venting system to to give us uh, clean air um, on the right there is a generator when we would lose electricity we'd go on generator power in the in the background you can see the uh, equipment around uh, a, a blast valve system so that if there was an explosion presumably a nuclear explosion up above these blast valves would close and uh, they, would, they would sense the overpressure and close, and then that blast would not make its way down into, uh, into our capsule and into the LCEB. There's a close-up of one of the two blast valves. This is what the valves look like uh, topside. If you are an astute and discerning viewer, you notice that this sign says Launch Control Facility which would be an LCF. Um, the launch control facility included the topside building, which I didn't include. Uh, up topside would be a security team and also a cook for everybody on site. That's what an LCF is. I showed you the LCC and the LCEB, and of course you know those acronyms uh, by now. This concludes our tour of Oscar I Launch Control Center and Launch Control Equipment Building at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. Uh, and uh, concludes the uh, expert uh, narration and audio guide. Uh, in Paris, these audio guides would cost you five euros. I hope you learned something about the Minuteman II weapon system, which in the Cold War was part of the nuclear triad, the other two parts being the submarine-launched ballistic missiles and airborne-launched uh, nuclear missiles. Thanks a lot for being with me.